Hello guys, do you want to make instant detail for your RBD simulations? Then you came to the right place. Stay tuned and watch more. If you want to know more about effects, you can join my Discord channel, link down below. Okay guys, so this is what we usually have when we make a normal simulation, right? You have the simulation and you drive the pieces by a transform pieces. You can have a high poly or a low poly, you see? The only difference in this case is the, the size of the pieces. But let's say that you forgot to add detail or you want to create detail after the fact. How will you do that? Well, you know, if you don't change the names of the pieces, you can transform this to anything you want. So, the first thing is we want to unpack this, right? Because we need to access the polygons like this okay, now we have access to these polygons then we need to iterate over each piece so for each named primitive and we know that we are going to iterate over the names if we grab a decent looking piece let's say i don't know i like this piece right you can check what's the inside and what's the outside with the following code Let's create a wrangle and on this wrangle, let's select the inside. So the inside, I want to make the colors be set to zero, right? And now we can differentiate the inside from the outside. In this case, we don't have any inside or any outside because we're on points. We should be too primitive, right? Now we can look at the difference. Okay, so since we know that we have the inside and the outside, we can say, okay, we want inner details to these pieces. So how do we do that? Start with, I would like to add a divide node, but I would like the divide node to only affect, as we said before, the inside pieces, right? The inside faces. So I don't want any of these guys. I want this to be as usual but I want to use a brick so we can use a 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 0.4 and well, we wrote this and this should work just fine we can check what's inside and what's outside this is the inside, right? so let's make it even even smaller 0 0.04 0 0.04 and 0 0.04 we can copy the parameters in, in fact since they are all going to be the same <clears throat> you have this so you can multiply this like two to reduce the detail well in this case to increase my bad there we go now we have less detail and i want maybe for 1.3 there we go now we have the detail so now that we have this we need to add some distortion right with a point box but how do we select what face do we want? So, we can do the following. We can use an expand group. And we know that this group is set on the primitives. And it is the inside. What if... What if this group that is inside, we expand it? Just a tiny bit, see? Or we'll reduce it, in fact. Let's do the opposite. Let's grab the outside. The outside, and let's expand the outside with a expanded outside. So, if we start expanding, we will see this interaction. This will depend on the divide node, of course. So now that we have this, we can set the color with a wrangle. Or in fact, let's use a color just for the sake of it. Let's use a color and let's set this to expand outside and I want this to be black. Let's see how it looks. Okay. So the white will have noise, the black won't have a noise. But this is a point bob, it's not a print bob. So let's promote these attributes from primitive to 
from primitive to point prim point and the cd see now now we have a more diffuse color over the edges okay so now that we got these we can start making for example the normals of the inside faces you can add them here or here is basically the same but they need to be set only to the inside why are we doing this because we want to have these normals set points in this case if we divide we will have a, like an interpolation you can check what fits better maybe this fits a little bit better i don't really think it's going to be so much big of a difference so i'm going to put it here so now that we have this we can go to visualize i uh, mean to guides and lower the scale of the normals this will be our our displacements the uh, direction and something i want to fix are these these are really harsh we do not want us so let's use a point uh, no let's use a blur attribute blur with the attribute blur you can do something similar to a uh, smooth right so let's check both of them we can set the p attribute and start blurring it see what it does this is the attribute blur so we can smooth this out and use a cd as a white right so we can smooth what it on the inside based on the color isn't this awesome okay so now that we got this we can check the position it's pretty much the same but we can mask based on a group i prefer in this case the attribute blur so now that we got this we can recompute the normals or we can move this here and you will see that these normals change just a tiny bit which is just as we need so let's hop in into this point pop these points to be displaced by by the normal so if you if we plug these two guys we will have this displacement going on so everything breaks because in the normal we should be applying the noises and the colors to mask it out so look what happens if we just add the normal now it expands it's like a pick node basically if we use a pick node here we'll have like the similar results if we set to one see it is literally the same so let's hop in again and what we want to create here is for example we want to drive the normal by start with a promote and we will expose this node this will be the global mold global mold there we go if you go outside we can start messing around with this guy okay but we also want to drive this by the color now only what's white will be displaced one more thing that we want to do is to well let's set to set this to a nice value for example point one will be okay and let's create some actual uh, noises noise unless flow this will be nice but i want to use the first one this will be a 1d noise we use the position and we, let's plug this to the code, right? Just so we can see what's going on. This is simple color, it's nothing really fancy. And we can clamp this, so we'll go from 0 to 1. And let's say, let's see, let's see what happens to plug this to the input. Right? Nice, now we can have a, an interesting displacement. We can increase the amplitude this will become our noise we can reduce the, the roughness and we can duplicate these two guys right and we can add with another uh, node like this it's, it's the same it doesn't matter the distribution and we can plug it in here again and we can move the offset we can obviously watch this in 
if you want more resolution you should go back to the divide and instead of 0.1 let's use 1 and have a little bit more resolution let's add a tiny bit more let's go to 0.5 now we have more detail it's looking quite nice uh, and we can play along with that noise maybe we don't want that slow nose maybe it was you know uh really nice or maybe we want you know a cellular noise this is really up to what you want and let's see what happens if i plug in this okay this is interesting we can increase the the frequency we can shift to it we can offset it it's a noise or maybe i don't know another noise let's see uh turbulent noise the turbulent noise is always a nice one let's add the scene and let's increase the amplitude let's move the frequency okay so this is very interesting and this is already looking very nice so let's hop in and here uh, we can change or we can remove uh, actually delete the color we don't need the color anymore so let's remove this and now we see that the inside faces are still being the inside faces we need to recompute the numbers once more and you see this is going to take a while look at this this is taking so long so i don't want to calculate all this every single time I make a different change so this is a really interesting node I'm going to set this to manual and if we plug in this here and set to multi-thread and use a compile block and we plug this in here right and then we plug in this here we will have the full capability for our uh, CPU we will have every single thread working for us so look at this difference done it works amazingly if you see this kind of behavior maybe you just need to go here hopping again wait for it to load and instead of point 0.1 let's go to point 0.4 point 0.0 my bad there we go we have some detail left or some left over we can improve on this maybe 0.2 remember this is interior detail so it's going to be really subtle so let's say this is okay right it's very rare that you're going to notice this issue so let's assemble this back on And now we have the connected pieces so let's see the difference remember that we had this if we go to this uh, stage this is nice it doesn't look bad but we're missing the detail now look at this we should uh, add, add we're going to delete the color here right it's going to take a little bit we're deleting the pieces now we should be set. There we go. Oh, and we didn't delete the color. No, because it's in primitive. Okay, there we go. So now we have this really nice detail going on here. We have this transition. We can smooth it. We can change everything, right? And I think this is like literally a nice way to add detail. You can play along with it as much as you want let's say we want to modify the one of the noises right and well if you we want to make this more subtle we can even blur or make an attitude blur and this will be the cd okay? let's go to nine blurs and let's hop in here look at this uh, at this noise there we go now it's more subtle so what this is doing is basically smoothing out the masks a little bit 
and this is what we want. And since we have a compile block, this works really, really fast. So that's one of the ways I create detail in same simulations. This is the small detail, so let's add a three. Look how fast this is. Remember, we have a couple pieces. So it's always nice to to mess around this a tiny bit. Remember, we're on not on smooth shaded. On smooth shaded, this looks quite nice. Just remember that these nodes should be set to vertex instead of points. Otherwise, look what happens if we go to points, we will have this issue in the normals. And remember, this will go to the inside groups and this will also go into the inside groups. Otherwise, everything will look wrong at the end of the day. Look at this. Okay? This little difference changes everything. Hi guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to know more, please join my Discord channel, link down below.